Hi, just like to show you our um, ECU Master plug-in adapter that I've just made for uh, M20 engines like uh, E30. This is uh, Chats E30. Um, it's coming for um, an ECU install. Now this is the adapter we make. Um, see it's got the fuses in, included. Um, now there's a couple of um, uh, a couple of downfalls with the factory wiring harness that comes in these cars. Um, the sensors aren't um, aren't separated for sensor ground, so we've actually added um, extra wires in for uh, TPS and for air temperature sensor. Now these come uh, directly into the harness adapter um, and to the ECU, and also of course we add in one for our wideband. Um, so with this adapter. Um, we should be able to literally plug this directly into the factory harness and all the sensors um, uh, will work uh, correctly without having to earth anything to the chassis ground. So um, I'll install it and um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have a go at starting it, see how it goes. Okay, something I forgot to point out before is when you're installing a standalone ECU into an E30, uh, the TPS needs to be changed for one like this. This is an E36 TPS, um, and this is our little bracket um, that'll bolt straight onto the original position. Um, now you'll see it's dead straight. Some um, people make these with the TPS offset, um, but then it ends up in the wrong position. The correct position is dead straight like this. Um, this engine previously had a, uh, a different brand ECU on it, so uh, this has already been installed. Um, Anyway, just something I need to point out. It's something that has to be done to convert a M20 E30 engine to standalone ECU. Okay, now we've got the adapter um, installed. Um, we've got down here, there's our, um, our wire going through to the TPS. And also we have installed an air temp sensor. And also we've got down here the wire going through to the O2 sensor. So we've got wideband, um, if we go inside the car, and you can see under here we've got our uh, ECU and our uh, harness adapter, um, it's all tucked up under the original position. Um, so okay, next up is to uh, set up the software and um, let's see if uh, we can get it to start. Okay, you can see we're all um, connected up. Software is uh, enabled. Um, you can see the engine is still cold. Uh, we haven't started it yet. So um, let's give it a crank, see if it starts. And mission on. We have connection. Okay, took a little bit of cranking, but there she goes. Untuned. This is just a base tune. So um, anyway, there we go. ECU master plug-in adapter for uh, E30. Um, I'm going to go and do some tuning.